which today is National Superhero Day. And there are some amazing stories of inspiration to share from the Believe Initiative. It's a youth collective uh, that make an impact in local communities right across the country. Here with more is founder and Olympian Sarah Wells and superhero student Stella. Good morning to both of you. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you for having us, George. Okay, it's our pleasure. Uh, Sarah, let's start with you. Articulate what the Believe Initiative is all about and how it works on the ground. So I've been uh, so lucky to meet amazing superheroes like Stella uh, all over the country through our work with the Believe Initiative where we help build more resilient leaders. And how we do that is we actually launch Believe Chapters at the school where we have an amazing superhero student be the chapter head, just like Stella was. And then they recruit members for students to work on Believe Passion Projects, which helps them take a passion they have, a problem they want to solve, and they use their passion to solve that problem and they build self-belief through action. And we've been lucky to do this with over 150,000 students all across the country. And I have to give a shout out here, or I want to give a shout out here to our amazing sponsor, RBC Future Launch, who helps us meet amazing superheroes like Stella. Awesome. Hey, Stella, you're a superhero student. That's awesome. You created a project called Games for Growth. It's a really clever concept. Tell us about it. Yeah, of course. So uh, Games for Growth, I wanted to take my passion for board game design and advocacy and address a problem I saw within my community that was uh, it was inaccessible for youth to address uh, local issues of inequity in an engaging uh, way. So I wanted to make board games that would be able to uh, use and help youth um, understand these tools for advocacy. So I have a Monopoly game to address housing insecurity. Uh, snakes and Ladders to address job inequity, and a Match the Card to Concept game for younger youth. So ideally, um, they'll be used as a learning tool, and as a recipient of the Believe Leadership Grant, I've been able to work with my incredible RBC mentor, Brianna, and within other uh, youth organizations here in Ottawa to distribute these board games uh, out to them so that they can have a games night uh, themselves and hopefully learn more. It's a brilliant repurposing and sort of piggybacking on something that we're all familiar with. Sarah, as an Olympic hurdler, you know all about leadership, and I, I like to use this expression, that leadership is the liberation of talent. Uh, knowing when to let people fall and to fail, but know how to get back up, because that's how you learn, that's how you grow, and that appears to be baked right into this initiative. Yeah, we really try to have these students understand their, their own abilities through taking action, because we know we can learn theory all day that tells us this is how you could be a leader this is how you can be resilient mm -hmm. but until you're actually putting those skills into action you don't really actually absorb that learning and so we really feel powerful power, powerfully about this experiential learning that the students take and run with like you would not believe the number of amazing projects we get to see at the end of our season uh, we host something called an inspiration fair and, and that's where it's like a science fair of inspirational projects. And that's where Stella won that Believe grant for her to keep growing her idea and making that impact. Awesome. And so we really encourage these students, like take action. That is where the magic is. Hey Stella, how has this experience helped you to become a better leader, a better teammate, and, and a better student citizen? Yeah, of course. So I started the Believe leadership chapter at my school, Elmwood. Uh, after listening to Sarah at the Evolve 2021 Leadership Conference. And so I was leading uh, students from my school through all of the Believe curriculum, and I was also creating uh, my own uh, passion project, which I think was just incredible for my own personal growth. Uh, it was so great to work with so many different kinds of people and learn new skills that helped me uh, be more capable to create and engage with issues that I really care about. You know, it's all about healthy competition, too, because, you know, real life is about winning and losing, and, uh, nothing, hey, victory is a noble goal. There's nothing wrong with that. So let's wrap it up here. Sarah, tell us how students, schools, parents, everybody can get involved in Believe. So we are looking for more amazing superheroes like Stella. You can go to believeinitiative.com. You want to get up high enough here? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> we got it. And you can reach out if you are a parent, teacher, or student that you believe will have a, a student that would want to launch a Believe chapter at their school. Uh, we know that there's so many amazing ideas in the young minds out there, so we're looking forward to helping them activate those. Sarah and Stella, thanks so much. You've inspired me and everybody at home watching today, too, I'm sure. Thanks so much. Congratulations, Thank you Stella. Okay, take a short break. Coming up, we're going to share how you can win some tickets to 